you know, this is this is a pretty little penny. This is like a rent payment right here. Yeah. Hey girl, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faye and as you can see by the title, it is that time of year again. The holiday savings event is right around the corner. So y'all know I had to pop on here and give you guys my recommendations because the way my cart is looking right about now, I'm sure I'm not the only one that has way too much stuff in their cart and this video is probably going to have y'all adding more stuff to your cart so let me go ahead and just apologize up front because i have a lot of really good recommendations for you guys i have a little bit of makeup skincare hair care fragrance a little bit of everything and if you've been following my channel you guys know around this time like clockwork these videos start coming out so i did my best to not include anything that i've talked about in previous videos so if you're interested in things that i've recommended previously i will either link those for you guys down below or you can search Faye Lene Sephora recommendations and all of those videos should pop up for you guys so that you can scroll through and check out products that I've recommended in the past but I don't want to hold y'all too long on this intro so if you enjoy the video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like the vibe be sure to click on subscribe down below and let's go ahead and get into it before we jump into the recommendations I quickly wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite ways that I like to earn cash back when shopping online if you've been watching my channel you've heard me talk about this a million times so it won't come as any surprise to you but if you are new here one of my absolute favorite websites to earn cash back online is Top Cash Back. They have over 7,000 participating retailers on their site and they have categories from fitness to travel, beauty of course, and fashion and they make it super easy to earn cash back when doing your everyday purchases online. Some of my personal favorite websites include Sephora obviously, Ulta, PetSmart because I do have a pup so I love getting cash back on his dog food and then also places like Target because y'all already know. The girlies love Target so you might as well get some cash back when you're making your purchases and the other thing that I love about the site is that there are no minimum requirements when cashing out your rewards so I know most of y'all are watching this video because you are building your cart preparing to shop the holiday savings event and I wanted to make sure that you guys were able to earn cash back both while you're shopping this savings event as well as while you're shopping for the holidays in general so there will be a link down below at the top of my description box you can click on that to create your profile it is super easy and then when you're ready to check out your Sephora cart all you're gonna do is go on to the the website search for Sephora click on the option that says get cash back now then from there you'll be redirected to the Sephora website where you can sign into your account if you're not signed in already everything should already be in your cart and you can go ahead and check out it honestly is super easy to do and also if you're someone that likes shopping from your desktop or your laptop you can add the browser extension to the top of your browser and whenever you go on different websites while you're shopping it'll automatically pop up in the top corner to let you know if that retailer is available Available for cash back on the top cash back website also had to mention to you guys that when you sign up using my link down below you'll earn a $10 sign up bonus as well as cash back obviously when you spend your first $25 using the site so yeah make sure you go ahead and run don't walk to my description box click on that link and sign up so that you guys can earn cash back on your purchases and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the recommendations all right y'all so like I said in the intro I have products to share with you guys from a bunch of different categories my largest category is actually makeup which probably is not surprising so I'm gonna start off with that just to get all of those products out of the way and then we'll move into the other categories I will have timestamps along the playhead of this video so if you want to jump to particular categories you can and of course all the products will be linked for you guys in the description box down below so let's go ahead and get into it I'm gonna try to do this basically in the order that I would do my makeup so let's just go ahead and go through it. So the first two things that I have to share with you guys are primers. The first one is from Milk Makeup. It is this primer right here. I've shown this to you guys a couple of times in some of my recent makeup tutorials. This is the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. The thing that I really love about this is, number one, obviously it is mattifying. I do have oily skin if you're new here, so I'm always here for the mattifying products. But I do also like that this doesn't dry your skin out or make it feel like crusty and flaky, but it still gives you that mattified look. And it also fills in your pores just a little bit, so if you are someone that needs it's both oil control and a little bit of smoothing on the face which honestly we all like to have smoothing on the face so that doesn't only apply to oily skin but if you do have texture on the skin this is going to give you a little bit of smoothing action as well so I've really been enjoying this and then one that is somewhat new to me over the past couple of months I purchased this a little bit ago but I have been loving this is from Cali Ray 
I've shown this to you guys in a few makeup tutorials recently as well. This is the Cali Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer with Collagen Peptides. I haven't really heard a ton of people talk about this, but I picked this up on a recommendation from another YouTuber that I was watching. And she was actually testing it out in her first impressions and she was blown away by how nicely it smoothed out her pores because she is someone that has a lot of texture on her skin. So when I went into Sephora a couple weeks back, I tested it on my hand and it did a pretty good job just blurring the fine lines that you have just on your skin so I decided to pick her up she wasn't super expensive so I figured I could try it out and I have been loving so if you are looking for something to smooth out texture to blur pores to blur fine lines I definitely recommend this so next up I have foundations and concealers so I have three foundations and I actually have three concealers to share with you guys so the first one is a newer one to my collection I did a review for you guys and posted it recently so if you haven't seen it definitely check that out if you want to see like a full seven hour wear test on my oily skin but it is this one from house labs I have this on my face right now and if you saw that video you guys saw that the first shade that I purchased was 415 it was a little bit too deep so I did return that one like I said in the video and I picked this one up and this one is in the shade 350 cool medium definitely a much better shade match as you guys can see if you watch that video you guys saw the first one that I purchased it was a little too deep and also a little too red whereas this one I feel like it matches my neck perfectly love this foundation the formula of it is just so smooth and it also is really lightweight on the skin like it literally feels like I don't have anything on my face but it gives me some nice coverage to the skin and if you are someone that does need a little bit of coverage it is going to give you that but also if you're someone that doesn't really need a ton of coverage it still is going to feel lightweight on the skin so really been enjoying this a similar vibe is this one from Charlotte Tilbury this is the beautiful skin foundation and can we just have a moment for all of the brands that have been coming out with very lightweight, natural, but still giving coverage foundations, like very skin-like, almost, well, I won't say skincare-like because it's still giving coverage, but definitely very skin-like, natural type vibes to the foundations. I've been here for it. And this is another one that I have been loving. So I believe I shared this one in a recent video as well, but this one is another one that is really great for oily skin as well. It lasts on the face really nicely throughout the day. It gives nice buildable coverage if you need that, but it still feels lightweight on the face. So another one I had to mention, if you haven't picked it up, definitely recommend. And then last but not least, this this is a foundation that I tried out last year I think and I did a review on it and then I didn't I used it a little bit and then it kind of got pushed to the wayside because obviously I'm constantly trying new products but lately I have been loving this one so this is the Huda Beauty stick foundation I think it's called the faux filter yeah, faux filter skin finish stick foundation so as you guys can tell I've been into the skin finish products for the face and then more full coverage on the concealers which I'll get to in just a second but I've really been enjoying this I like number one that it's a stick foundation so it's just quick you just put it on your face blend it out and go it's great for if you want just a really quick evening out of your complexion but you can also build it up if you want something more full coverage and glam so like I said I reviewed this I believe last year when it first came out and I've fallen back in love with it like the past couple of months so had to give this one a mention and then next up I have some concealers so the first one the first two again will not be any surprise because I have mentioned these in my videos recently so the first ones are from Sephora collection and they are these best skin ever concealers so I have two shades I have 34 0.5 in for highlighting which I do have under my eyes today and then 35 in as my skin tone shade if I just want to like spot conceal real quick and go these are so so good I have not tried the best skin ever foundation but using this concealer has made me want to try the foundation and in case you didn't know Sephora collection products will be 30% off throughout the duration of the sale so this is a really great time to purchase anything that you've kind of had your eye on from Sephora collection but I have been loving these they're really full coverage lightweight under the eyes they don't feel dry they don't feel heavy and as you guys can see the under eyes are giving they're doing what they need to do okay so I've really been loving these I posted these on my Instagram in a reel and then like I said I have been using them in recent videos so if you want to see them in action you can check out either my Instagram or recent um, 
videos that I have posted, makeup tutorials that I have posted, but really been loving these. And then another kind of throwback that I've been going back to are these from Fenty. So these are the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealers. These came out um, a while ago. Honestly, I don't even remember. It's been a couple years. I picked them up when they initially came out. I used them a little bit. I wasn't a fan at first. And then I kind of have been decluttering. I was digging through my collection. I decided to give these a try again, and I love. So I have two shades, 300 for brightening, which I actually have in the inner corner with the Sephora concealer. And then 330, which is a, like probably one shade lighter than my complexion. Um, so if I just want something just to like conceal but not really brighten, then I'll use this one. But most of the time I use these in conjunction with each other. The lighter one on the inner corner and then the other one everywhere else. I really love how hydrating these feel underneath the eyes. So comfortable, so blendable, and they just feel just... Really hydrating is the best word that I can say for these concealers. And then last but not least is this one from KVD Beauty, which is Kat Von D's brand. This is the Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. I have mine in the shade Medium 152. I was using this concealer non-stop a couple of months ago, and I don't think I ever mentioned, to you guys, mentioned it to you guys or even shared it on my channel. I can't remember for sure, but I do know that this concealer was my go-to for a hot minute, and I don't think I ever mentioned it to you guys. Lately, these two have been my go-to just because they're newer to my collection. Well, the Fenty one isn't, but I've re-fallen in love with it. So they're kind of like a new love for me. But this one definitely is another one that I have been loving over the past couple of months. Really love the coverage on this one. I love the shade. It's a really nice under eye brightening shade that isn't doing too much if you are similar to my complexion. Again, this one is medium 152. And I also love, again, that it's really hydrating under the eyes. Because one thing I've noticed for me in particular is that I do have very oily skin, but under my eyes sometimes can be pretty dry. So since I do like to bake and I do set with powder underneath my eyes and stuff like that I have been finding that I've really been enjoying having more hydrating concealers under the eye to keep them from looking dry and like crepey and just not cute <laughs> so those are the ones that i have been loving that i wanted to mention to you guys and let's go ahead and move on to actually i have one more complexion product and then we'll move on to just like some face products so y'all this right here this is a new holy grail so this is the danessa myricks yummy skin um, this is the balm. Let me see. What is this called? Yummy skin blurring balm powder for face and eyes. I don't put this on my eyes, but I actually got the um, tinted one. So you can get a translucent shade if you just want to wear it like as a primer or you can get a tinted one. So I have shade number seven. I still can wear this underneath my foundation, which a lot of times I do do that. I'll wear it underneath um, my foundation as like a first layer or basically as a primer but this is basically kind of like a cream to powder formula this right here is so good and it works on so many different skin types but if you have oily skin girl highly recommend it does come with a little like scooping spoon on here I don't really use it because since mine is tinted I normally will just dip my brush in here and apply it straight to my face I am going to be posting a video soon because um I asked you guys in a previous video if you guys would like to see this in action and a couple of you guys said that you would like to see that so I'll be posting something soon showing you guys how I use this but in the meantime just know that I highly recommend and again if you are similar to my complexion I do have the shade number seven this right here is going to help to control your oil all day but it's not going to dry you out it's not going to make you look um yeah it's just not going to make you look dry but it's going to do a really great job of just keeping the skin flawless and controlling the oil whether you put foundation on top of it or not this right here love 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 for every day all right so next up let's move into some bronzers the first one that i want to share with you guys is a cream bronzer and it is from lys so this actually launched this year this is the lys cream what is it called I know it's a cream bronzing stick. I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is, but I will link it for you guys down below. Well, I think it's called the No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick, and I have mine in the shade Courage, which looks like this. The shade range on these bronzers is top tier, so if you have a deeper complexion, 
they will definitely have a shade that will work for you because the deepest shade of this is she's deep so they did their thing on the bronzers on the shades of these and i have absolutely been loving this pretty much almost every time i do my makeup i have been using this bronzer stick and it's funny because as an oily skin girl for a long time i would steer away from cream bronzers cream blushes and just cream products in general outside of my foundation but over the past couple of months i have been kind of experimenting with cream products and i've really been loving this i love that you can apply it to your skin even if you have set like your under eye area with powder or like your forehead with powder which I've shown you guys in previous videos. I can still apply this on my face and it blends out effortlessly and it doesn't make me oily throughout the day even though it is a cream product. So really been loving this and then also another cream product that I have been loving is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer or sorry the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed glow bronzer and I have mine in the shade 310 so this is what the packaging looks like and then I also have the powder bronzer as well which I was going to mention to you guys but I have really been in to the cream bronzer so this is what that one looks like I actually forgot to apply a cream bronzer today so I can't say that I have one on my face right now but I have been loving both of these so the cream one and then this is the powder Charlotte Tilbury She's been killing it with the complexion products. Between her and NARS, they have me in a chokehold. So definitely recommend these if you are looking for a good bronzer. I have both of my bronzers in the shade tan. And yeah, been loving these. And then last but not least is this little palette from Fenty. This is the Sunstalker Face and Eye Bronzer Highlighting Palette. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So this is actually a palette that I picked up during the summer months. I believe it came out just before summer. And I really like this because, as y'all know, during summer, you're tanning. During winter, you kind of go back to your winter shade. Um, and I like that this offers a couple of different bronzer shades in it without you having to buy several individual bronzer shades and then these two highlighters on the side are shimmer shades they look beautiful on the face and also in the inner corner so this right here this was the go-to in the summertime and a lot of times I will pull this out especially for travel it's super convenient and sometimes I'll just pull it out even when I'm doing my makeup if I want to like really chisel out my cheeks or even use some of the bronzer shades on the eyes. I just find that this is a really convenient really practical palette so if you are someone that is looking for something like that I would really recommend this because I've gotten a lot of use out of it. Alright so sticking with face products I wanted to mention some powders to you guys and they are from Makeup Forever. Ever. I know Makeup Forever has been around forever, um, but I've really been loving these. These are the Matte Velvet Skin Blurring uh, Powder Foundations. So I have two shades. Typically when you purchase this, it'll come, like I just have this sitting in here, but it normally comes with one shade and then a um, like a sponge on this side. But since I had the two shades, I didn't want to have to keep up with two palettes so I just took the sponge out because I don't use the sponge and just put the other shade on this side so I have the shades Y445 and then this one is Y375 so I like to use this one to set underneath my eyes I do have it under my eyes today it just really gives you a nice blurred smooth under eye and then this one I can use all over my face I've really been enjoying these there's really not much to say about these outside of they do exactly what the name says blurring powder foundation that's exactly what they do so this is something i'll reach for on like my more full coverage days when i'm really trying to give the glam this is going to give you that like filtered flawless finish on your face so i have to give those a quick little mention and then i wanted to share a highlighter with you guys as well so again this is by lys the packaging on all of their products, honestly, top tier. But this is the Aim High Pressed Highlighting Powder in the shade Genuine, which is a rose gold shade. I have been loving this. I've been wearing it just about every day. I really like that it's like a powder formula. And this is what it looks like, what the shade looks like. So beautiful and yeah I really don't have a ton to say about this outside of it's good it's a highlighter it has a really nice creamy um, formula it blends onto the face like effortlessly and it does what it needs to do without doing too much because I feel like I'm kind of past the chunky 
sparkly like overdone highlighting i just like something that's going to give me a little bit of dimension to the face without doing too much like a natural glow from within and that is what this does i believe this comes in three different shades um which i do have all three shades but i've really been gravitating towards this one the most which is um the rose gold shade so wanted to share that with y'all real quick and then the last two um makeup products i believe yeah the last two makeup products i have are setting sprays so apparently smashbox did a rebrand or is doing a rebrand or has done a rebrand um so this setting spray does not look like this anymore but i will link it for you guys down below so you know exactly which one i'm talking about but this is the photo finish weightless setting spray this came out a couple years ago and i remember when it first came out it didn't really get a ton of attention it kind of just like launched and everybody was like okay new setting spray but like nobody really talked about it this setting spray is so good and honestly it deserves a lot more attention than it gets um it has a lot of claims like being transfer proof um water resistant like all these different things and it lives up to the claim this is something that i was using especially during the panty which we're still in but y'all know what i mean it's not as like intense as it was back then but when I was having to wear a mask to work or just having to wear a mask in general and I had makeup on my face I would use this and my makeup it wasn't going anywhere so definitely recommend this as well as this one this one is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray um, she also got a little rebrand on her packaging as well. Um, so both of these right here, if you're looking for a setting spray that is going to hold your makeup in place, like lock it in, mask proof, transfer proof, all of the above, these are the two that I would recommend. I have a lot of setting sprays. I use a lot of them, but when I want something that I know I can count on that's going to lock my makeup in place and like... It's going to be good to go for several hours at a time. These are the two that I reach for. So, All right, so now that we have all of the makeup out of the way, I literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine more things to talk about, and then we'll be done. We'll fly through these, honestly, because... Yeah, there's not really a ton to say about them, um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to do the skincare first. The first item that I want to share with you guys, it is a product that I've mentioned to you guys before, but it's so good, it deserves another mention, and it is this Foreo Luna. This is the Mini 2. I believe they have a new one out now, the Mini 3. I'm not sure, but I'll link the one that's available on Sephora currently. Um, but this is a skincare cleansing device, or a skin cleansing device. It is silicone. And you guys, I purchased this during a Sephora holiday savings event years and years and years and years ago. And this is still going strong. Like, before I had this, I had the Clarisonic. The Clarisonic died on me. There's no way to change the batteries in a Clarisonic. You just basically have to buy a new one. Um, I'm not sure. There's probably not any way to change the battery in this either. But I do find with this, I have to charge it way less frequently than I had to charge my Clarisonic. Which I don't even know if Clar Clarisonic is still in business. Um, Y'all let me know. Like, do y'all still have Clarisonics? I don't know. I don't really hear anybody talk about them anymore. But this top tier if you're looking for a facial cleansing device it is a little pricey which is why i always mention it to you guys during the holiday savings events or the savings events because that is the best time to purchase this however i did notice that there are um a few like additions of these or uh series what am i trying to say i don't know exactly what word i'm trying to say but basically they're are some of these out currently that are not as expensive as other ones like I guess like new generations maybe is what I'm trying to say um so I think they actually have some of these out now that are under $100 don't quote me on that but I think I saw on Sephora that they have one for like $89.99 or something I don't know I'll link it for y'all down below but highly highly recommend like I can go probably a whole year and charge this maybe once or twice um like it's just good it's just good it cleanses my face it gives me that really deep clean especially in my pores and I really can't say enough great things about this so if you don't have one of these I highly recommend also wanted to share an eye cream with you guys I picked this up during the holiday savings event last year and I've been loving it this is the coral organics very bright vitamin C eye cream if you guys watched my video last year you guys remember me talking about this first of all the packaging gorgeous and i also really love that it actually has refillable um packaging so this 
pops out and you can just purchase the refill of it instead of having to purchase the whole situation all over again which I do really like but this is one of the few eye creams that I have actually noticed a difference in my under eyes I noticed that they're brighter I noticed that they look more awake when I use this much more hydrated my uh fine lines because I do have lines underneath my eyes I feel like most of us do um but I do notice when I use this that like my under eye eyes just look healthy they look plump they look good so um wanted to mention this to you guys nice cute packaging but it also actually works so the next thing i have is a mask i picked this up last year during the holiday savings event as well and i'm actually almost done with it now which i'm kind of sad because this is really really good so this is from tatcha this is the clarifying clay mask and we all know how much miss tatcha's products are these tatcha products um but this one is actually really good. So it's kind of like, as you can see, it's like a clay um, type consistency. But the thing that I really love about this is it's a detox mask or like a clarifying mask, but it doesn't like dry my skin out, if that makes sense. I feel like that's kind of the theme of a lot of these products things that do what I need them to do without drying my skin out. So with this mask in particular, I feel like it does a great job of cleansing and pulling all the gunk out of your face. But while it's on your skin, it's not like sucking all the moisture out of your face, if that makes sense. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. Like a lot of clay, charcoal type masks, you put them on and it just feels like your face just like... <laughs> that's the feeling um this one does not do that but it still does a really great job like when you rinse it off your face it feels really cleansed it just does a really great job of clarifying and cleansing without the stripping if that makes sense so really enjoy this highly recommend and then last but not least for skin i have this product from skin fix this is the resurface plus aha and bha renewing cream i think this is a product that i've mentioned to you guys before i'm pretty sure but i've had this for such a long time as you can see you get such a big tub such a like large amount of product um and as you can see i am almost finished with it i'm not sure if i'm gonna repurchase it this time because I have like a lot of other products that I kind of want to try and get through. I have a lot of like body moisturizing cream type products that I want to try to get through. But I don't know. I may end up repurchasing this because this is just a great go-to product when you really want to give your skin that extra TLC, that extra moisture. Um, this is going to do it for you. And it also, while it's giving you that moisture, it's going to be helping to clarify your, not clarify, but like if you have dark spots or if you have bumpy skin or if you have like crepey skin or anything like that, it's going to help to like resurface the skin because it has the AHA and the BHA in it. So this was something I was using heavy, especially in the summer, because obviously in the summertime you're showing more skin. So you want to look glowy. You want to look, you know. You want to give the summer glow. Um, so I really enjoyed using this. I still use it currently. And a lot of times I'll mix in like body oils and stuff with this because it is scent free. So that's another thing I really like about this. I can use other products on top of it without them clashing. Um, so yeah, I believe this one might be a little pricey for a body cream. I don't remember exactly, but it's worth it. So had to give that one another mention real quick. And then last but not least, oh, I have one more skincare thing. I forgot this was in here. So these are from Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, I don't have the original package that these came in because I basically took them all out and I have like a little organizer container in my drawer in my bathroom that I have them all in. But I wanted to mention these to you guys because I love. So if you are looking for like kind of like a chemical peel type situation that you can do at home, this is what I would recommend. So it's a two part system. The ones that I have are extra strength, but they do have a sensitive skin, a sensitive formula, a normal formula, and then an extra strength. So what I did when I first started using these is I actually purchased, at the time they had a holiday set where um, there it came with all three strengths, the sensitive, the normal, or the original, I guess, normal, and the extra strength. Um, and I think there were 30 of them in their total. So like an even amount of each one, um, 10 of each one. And I basically started with the sensitive, 
Then after I used up all the sensitive ones, I moved to the normal, then I moved to the extra strength, and then ever since then, I've been using the extra strength. So the first side is going to be the, both of them are a daily peel, but like I said, it's a two-part system. So the first side is going to exfoliate and smooth, and then the second side is an anti-aging neutralizer. This, these are a little bit pricey. I think they're like $88, but you guys may be able to find a really good like holiday set that you can purchase. Um, and then obviously get the discount. But these are another product if you're looking for something to resurface your skin, to just like give you that glow. If you're really like working on the texture and just like the surface of your skin, I would recommend getting these. So you can get the full size. I don't remember how many come in there, but I know that's $88. Or you can get the smaller amount for less if you just want to try them out first but definitely wanted to mention those all right so i have one fragrance to share with you guys y'all know i normally have a couple different fragrances to share with y'all so if you want to see other fragrances i've shared in the past you can check out my previous videos for this one i only have one fragrance to share and it is this one from valentino this is the valentino born in roma again the packaging top tier absolutely gorgeous this is a fragrance that i purchased again during a sale i this was like a blind purchase i just bought it off of the reviews a ton of people were saying how much they loved it i had heard a couple people talk about it not a ton but i ended up just buying it based off of the reviews and initially when i purchased it i liked it but i wasn't in love with it but these past couple of weeks, I have been obsessed with this. I've been using it every single day. It's a floral. I believe it's a warm floral. Let me look it up for y'all real quick. Okay, so yeah, it is a warm floral. And the keynotes are blackcurrant, jasmine, grandiflorum, and bourbon vanilla. Y'all, so good. This is fire. I think I would say that this is giving like grown and sexy floral. Yeah, it's definitely giving like grown and sexy floral, but in a way that you could wear it during the day or you could wear it at night, if that makes sense. I initially purchased the smallest size of this, which is one fluid ounce, but when this runs out, I'm definitely getting the bigger size because I just love, I'm so into it. I love the packaging. It smells amazing. Highly, highly recommend. So I'll have this link for y'all down below. And then last but not least are the hair products. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get through these real quick. I know this video has been long, but we're gonna wrap it up real quick with these last couple of products. So the first thing that I have to share is a um, a mask, a hair mask. This is the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Super Food Mask. So this is what she looks like. And this right here, y'all, first of all, smells amazing amazing and the thing that i really like about this mask is when it says mega moisture they mean mega moisture so my hair tends to be pretty dry my scalp tends to be pretty dry so the oily issue that i have on my face i don't have that issue on my scalp um but once i've gone about like five to six days after washing my hair it does start to get weighed down and a little bit oily um but overall my hair is dry also, you guys know I am, well, you may or may not know, but I am natural, but I do like to wear my hair straight for the most part. So obviously I'm constantly putting heat on my hair or at least once a week I'm putting heat on my hair. So when I wash my hair, that is a time for me to breathe life basically back into my hair. And this is something that does that for me. It is so moisturizing to my hair. I normally will put this on. Obviously after I wash my hair, I'll leave it on for like, 30-ish minutes sometimes longer I like to focus this especially like on my edges and on my ends and when I wash this out of my hair it feels so soft my curls are so juicy bouncy like I feel like this is something that has definitely helped to keep my hair from being damaged from the heat that I put on it from wearing it straight so definitely recommend this it's honestly a lot of Briogeo's products are really good I've tried several of their product products that I've mentioned to y'all in previous um, recommendations videos but this was a newer one to me that I've really been loving especially lately as you know it's getting a little bit cooler and the hair just is needing a little bit more hydration so I've been loving this as a um, hair mask and then also this is something that I saw someone mention I don't remember who it was but when I saw them talk about it I decided to get like the small version just to try it out 
and I love. So this is the Color Wow Dream Coat Super Natural Spray. Looks like this. Like I said, I did get the little small one, but once I run out of this, I will definitely be picking up the, the bigger version or the full size version. You don't really need a lot of this. Like I probably do maybe two to four sprays per section. So when I'm doing my hair, I section it into four sections, two in the front, two in the back. And before I blow dry my hair, after I detangle it, I will just spray this, um, you know, throughout my hair before I blow dry. And the thing that I really love about this is that it's going to help to keep your hair from getting frizzy. So if you are somebody that even if you don't wear your hair straight, but you just need something to like help with the frizz, help manage the frizz. I would recommend this. I've been loving it. Like I said, I did um, kind of pick this up on a whim. It does say on here that actually dryer heat required to activate products so if you're not putting heat on your hair this isn't going to work for you but if you are someone that is blowing your hair out and you want something that's going to help to maintain the frizz so that you're not have like constantly having to be putting more heat on your hair to straighten it highly recommend and honestly the small size will last you a long time because I've had this for a minute I use it every time that I do my hair which is like once a week and it still sounds like I have a pretty good amount of product in here all right y'all so two more products and then we'll be done if you've made it to the end of this video I appreciate you because I know I have shared a lot of products but there's just so much good stuff so I had to make sure that I gave y'all all the tea so the last two things are actually hair tools um one I've mentioned to you guys before but I just want to mention to you guys really quickly again and then one is a new one that I purchased during the holiday savings event I've had a chance now the holiday savings event last year I've had a chance now to try it out and use it so and I have been enjoying it so I want to recommend it so and both of these are kind of pricey so yeah if you're gonna purchase them either ask for them at, you know as a gift a little Christmas gift or get them during the holiday savings event so you can save some coin so the first one is from dry bar and it is this uh, brush. This is, I believe it's called the Dry Bar. I don't remember exactly what it's called, or I think it's called the Hot Shot, Blow Shot, I don't remember. Um, I'll link it for y'all down below, along with everything else that I'm talking about in this video. But this right here, girl. Again, I'm talking to my girls that like to blow their hair out, that like to wear their hair straight, you know. That's who I'm talking to, so if you're, you know, team twist out, braid out, you know this ain't gonna be for you but the next one might be for you but this one is not gonna be for you <laughs> um but if you are somebody that likes to blow your hair out girl highly highly recommend so this it has both like paddle brush bristles and then also like regular brush bristles so i'll hold it up kind of close so y'all can see um the different bristles on this and the thing that i love about this is it's gonna give you that blowout um finish but you can do it at home, girl, okay? So all that money that you're spending going to the hair salon to get your blowouts, you can take that money that you would normally be spending because the price has been going up lately at the hairdresser. So you can take that money and buy this and you can do your own blowouts at home, okay? So I got this a couple of years ago. I use it every single time that I wash my hair. Um, normally what I'll do is I'll just use a regular, blow. well, I have something else I'm gonna show y'all in a minute, but I'll just use a regular blow dryer just to like stretch my hair. And then I'll use this to really like blow it out smooth it out um and it's going to give you that like round brush blow dry without having to have a round brush and a blow dryer because ain't nobody got time for that okay i need it to be simple quick easy um it has a couple different settings on here um there's a cool setting a low and then like you know a regular heat like low heat and then uh high heat setting and this right here is gonna get the job done it gets my roots super straight so when i actually go in to straighten my hair i really don't have to put a ton of heat on my hair from the flat iron because this right here is gonna get your hair super straight so definitely had to recommend this you could even use this if you were someone that just wanted to like blow out your hair like if you don't really need to put a flat iron to your hair you just want to like blow it out you can do it with this so yeah i've mentioned this to y'all before i'm not sure how many of you guys have taken advantage of it but baby this right here this the one if you like to blow your hair out this is the one so had to mention that to y'all everyone that has picked this up for my recommendation has absolutely loved so i'm trying to put y'all on this right here if you're trying to you know blow a couple coins right quick this is it all right and then last but not least all right this is for my girls that's trying to spend a little coin or you know if you want to ask for it you know as a little gift or whatever this is this one this one hit me in the pockets last year but i had it on my list for years and years and years and years and i finally decided to 
throw it in a bag, you know, spend a little, little nice little coin on it last year, but it, it's been worth it. So this is my Dyson blow dryer. I got the limited edition one last year. I think every year they come out with like limited edition sets. So the one that I got is the pink one, which I'm sure, you know, nobody's surprised. First of all, can we just get into it? Can we just get into the packaging? Fire, um, or the color, I should say, fire. Um, but yeah, I purchased this last year. I know this is, you know, this is, this is a pretty little penny. This is like a rent payment right here. But if you've had it on your wish list and you trying to purchase it, this is the time, especially if you're rouge because you're going to get 20% off. Um, I have actually really been loving this blow dryer. I use it with the comb attachment. And the thing that I really, um, the thing that really pushed me to get this last year is that they had a limited edition set that came with all of the attachments. So I think last year there was like a new flyaway attachment. And I think normally the blow dryer just comes with like three attachments or four or something. But this limited edition set, it came with all the attachments, which I think there were five, if I remember correctly. I don't remember exactly, but it came with all of them. So it has like the curl one, um, it has the flyaway one, it has the comb, it has the like um, the nozzle, like the directional nozzle. And I think there might be one, one more, I don't remember exactly but this is the nozzle one that i was telling you about i really just keep this one and the comb in here because these are the two main ones that i use but i was actually kind of surprised i thought it was a, a gimmick at first like the price i just thought they were just doing too much but when i actually bought it and i used it it does take a little bit of um like trial and error to get used to because my other blow dryer that I have it's hands it's um handle free so you can just hold the nozzle and like use it so I did have to get used to holding the handle again to like blow dry my hair but once I kind of got the hang of that I do notice that this dries my hair a lot faster than my regular blow dryer and I notice that my hair like it doesn't cause as much damage to the hair then as my uh, well i won't say my other blow dryer causes a lot of damage but i just find i guess maybe it causes less damage because it dries the hair faster so you're not putting heat on your hair for as long if that makes sense um so yeah it has a couple different settings it has three heat settings three fan settings um a cool shot setting so i'll basically use this to dry and stretch my hair and this to smooth my hair and y'all this right here is the dream team so again i know it's a pretty little penny on the tools but i honestly don't think i'll have to buy any more hair tools for a pretty long time because both of these are really good quality they get the job done they're really sturdy they don't feel cheap um and they dry my hair and like get me to what i'm trying to accomplish in half the time and i mean you guys can see my hair is healthy it's there's no breakage it's looking good and if you've been watching my channel you guys know like you've seen the growth of my hair you've seen the transformation of my hair so the things that i have been doing a lot of which have been at home they've been working and then every now and then like every like maybe three to six months i'll go into the salon get a really good trim like a really good treatment but for the most part a lot of what i do to my hair when it's out and not in a sew-in or a protective style i do at home and i attribute a lot of that to these products that i've used so yeah that is pretty much all that i have that is all that i have i know this has been a long video but it's been a little minute since i did a recommendations and i had a lot of stuff to share with you guys like i mentioned so i wanted to make sure that i got everything in across all the different categories because the holiday savings event is coming so if you're building your cart hopefully you've had your phone out hopefully you take a little notes um let me know down below if i mentioned anything that you guys have in your cart that you're planning on purchasing also let me know if there are any products that i missed um that you think i should pick up or that you want me to try out so that i, I can add them to my cart my cart is a mess right now like it's literally almost a thousand dollars which <sighs> I know once I put the code in, it'll be 20% off, but I'm going to have to narrow it down, okay? We're going to have to narrow it down. So let me know down below the products that you recommend. 
Um, the sale does start on Friday. I'll have all the information down below for the dates, um, the tiers, the discounts, all of that. And um, don't forget to sign up for ca Top Cashback down below. So not only can you take advantage of the savings, but you can also get cash back on your purchases. So it's double duty, okay? Double duty, trying to save y'all some coins, both with the discounts and then also with the cash back. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the vibe of the video and of my channel, be sure to click subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Thank you.